to make easy in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to use looping concept in flowgorithm i have already made the video about if statement and normal programs in flowgorithm you can watch those videos i'll provide the link in the description okay for looping concept we are going to solve three questions today the first one is draw a flow chart to display first 10 natural numbers okay so what is this just simplify this question first what is this first 10 natural number? So these are starting from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So we are expecting this output, first 10 natural number. So let's go to Flogo Rhythm software and start drawing it. Click on this arrow between main and end. After clicking, you can see the declare box in the variables, declare box. So select declare and double click on it. We are using loop concept so we need a variable to iterate through the loop so i will use here i you can use a different name it's your choice from here you can select this real integer we need integer value for, for this time so i'll select integer then okay integer i is declared next we need to run the loop so where is the loop this is loop inside the loop we have three options do loop for loop while loop for this tutorial, we are using for loop because this is very easy. Okay, I have selected the loop. You can see loop is starting from here and then it will go this side and then coming back here. This means we are using loop to repeat the execution of the statement. So I will double click on this loop. It is asking for the variable. We declared here i, so I will use this i variable here. Starting value, as we know, we need to print the first 10 natural number starting from 1. So I will write here 1 as a starting value. Then end value, we need to print up to 10. So I am writing here 10. Next is increment or decrement. After 1, what we are going to print? We are going to print 2, that is incrementing 1. So increment, increasing, we need to select here 1. So 1, then 2, then 3. So it will add 1 1 after each iteration look for i equals to 1 to 10 this is just like a cubic syntax next inside the loop what we are going to print we are going to print the value of i because i value will be first time one second time two third time three so we are going to print the value of i so for our output we need to select this output box look double click on this output and then print the value of i simply type i if you want to print in the new line, you can select this, else just leave it as it is. Okay, I will select new line for now. Done. Our program, our flow algorithm is done to print the natural numbers from 1 to 10. For i equals to 1 to 10, output i, then it will repeat again and then print 2, 3, 4 in this way. So let me show you step by step process. Here is two buttons. This is run and this is step. So I will click on step. First time this declaration of i is done. The next step is it will go to the loop. Look at here. Next step it will print i. When I click this, you can see in the output screen when loop run 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 is displayed. In this way it works. So let me close this and you can simply click on this run button directly to see the result. 1 to 10 is printed here in this way. Okay, this is done. First time value of i will be 1 and then it will be printed. Then it will go back to the loop. Inside the loop we have written here increasing 1. So then next time value of i will be 2. So it will be printed. Next time 3, 4 in this way. And when <coughs> i value will be 11, then it will be false. Loop is done. So it will go to the end and end of the program or end of the loop. Okay, next. Our question is draw a flowchart to display even numbers from 1 to 20. What are the even numbers from 1 to 20? We can include 0 as an even number, 2, 4, 6, up to 20. Okay. So starting from 0 here and up to 20. So in the same, we can change or just create a new. I will take new to explain you. Okay, next. So go here and select the declare first because we are using loop we need to declare a variable instead of i we can use k also 
I'm using k now. Then loop. Again, we'll use for loop because this is very easy. Double click on the loop. We are we have declared k variable for the loop, so I will use k. Starting value was two. We are expecting output. The first value is zero, so zero. Then end value is what twenty. You can see first uh, even odds from one to twenty, so last value will be twenty. Done. An increment or decrement increasing fine but is increased by two year why two because here you can see first value is two if we add two to the first value then it will be two two plus two is four so that's why we are adding two to each time that's why we have to increase by two and click on ok look at here k equals to zero to twenty step two means every time the value will be incremented by two then what we are going to print we are going to print value of i so we'll select output button here inside the output we'll print k because we are using k as a looping variable done let me run this again okay 0 to 4 6 8 up to 20 this is even numbers from 1 to 20 done okay let's close this again the next one is Draw flowchart to display first 10 odd numbers. So, understand the difference between this second and third questions. It is saying from 1 to 20 all even number. It is saying first 10 odd number. 1 to 20 even number here and here. First 10 odd numbers. Okay, let me write 10 odd numbers. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15. 17, 19. I think this is first 10 even numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10. Yes. These are first 10 even numbers. It is saying first 10 even, odd numbers. Sorry. First 10 odd numbers. Not odd numbers between 1 to 10. First 10 odd numbers. There are first 10 odd numbers are here. So a starting value is what? 1. So you need to simplify question first. And end value is 19. And incrementing 2 every time. Look, 2, 2. 5 plus 2 is 7, 7 plus 2 is 9. So let's go to Flowgorithm software, take new file again. You can take a screenshot if you want to save this file. Okay, I'll click on this and again declare. This time I will use declaration variable as J. You can use any. Again, click and then select loop. Inside the loop, you already know now I'm using J. Starting value is odd number that means 1 and 19 is the last value Every time we are increasing by 2 So 1 to 19 is type 2 what we are going to print for print output box and we are going to print the value of J Okay, then run it Done 1 3 5 7. These are the odd numbers 10. There are 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10. So this is how it works for more tutorial, please subscribe to this channel and like this video and share with your friends who wants to know and learn about programming using Flowgorithm software. Have a good day guys. See you in the next video.